we will also get proofs using our new double angle formulas. And they're, I'm going to say they're actually really quite easy. The strategy will be that if you see, now let's do part A first. Just like other proofs, you're going to draw your straight line at the equal sign and rewrite your question. But in this one, on the right-hand side, we have some two thetas inside sine of cos. So if you have a double angle identity in a proof, you will use the strategy of taking those double angles and rewriting them as the right-hand side of the formulas that you have. Now, for the sine 2 theta, that's super easy because you only have one choice. It's going to be 2 sine theta cos theta. But for the cos 2 theta, we have three choices. And this one, one of them is going to be way better than the other two. On the left-hand side, I have cotangent, so I probably changed that to cos theta over sine theta, so I have everything in sine and cos. But now we have to decide which of the three cos 2 alpha formulas do you think will be best? They will all work, but one will make your proof so much faster than the other two. this one nice? Do you see that the minus one and the plus one are going to go away? None of the other ones get rid of this extra plus one, and I don't have an extra plus one on the left hand side, so if those ones go away, then I'm just going to be left with on the top two cos squared theta, on the bottom two sine theta, cos theta, and now since we're multiplying, twos can simplify, one of the coses can cancel out two. And we're just left with cos theta over sine theta. And we are done. Question? I don't I didn't put any double ones on the quiz tomorrow. But there I really think there could be, because this isn't For the second one, again, we draw the line. This time we have a 2 theta inside of cosecant. And we have no formula for cosecant. However, we can change okay, the cotangent. We can change it to cos theta over sine theta. The cosecant you can change over 1 over sine. The angle would stay the same, so it would be 1 over sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta is super easy because there's only one option. It has to be 1 over 2 sine theta cos theta. And now since you're multiplying, you can simplify those cos theta. And we are done. So again, the proofs here, they're not crazy. All you have to, basically, you're going to take your 2 theta, change it with your formula, and then it's just a regular proof that you had before. And you're using all the skills that you had from your proofs from the other ones.